Hi there, Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So I have meditated with the cards and have laid them out here for you. So for those that are in concern of why I don't put in the process of shuffling and all that, that is most likely because i take at least 15 to 20 minutes in meditation and shuffling the cards as i lay them out so i skip that part and usually just you know lay it out and start the recording when i'm ready to do the reading so that's the process and procedure that i make so just to give a quick clarification for those in concern um yeah and again, this is still a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Virgos out there. Just keep that in mind. So um, yeah, let's see what's going on with you guys in general for this love month. I kind of feel here that for a lot of Virgos, or at least for the Virgos that I am tuning in and connecting with this reading, there is some form of heaviness in your heart. Uh, there is some form of heavy feeling that you are experiencing at this time. Let me just move this set of decks elsewhere. And you might be at a loss there is something that is confusing you and it could be an issue wherein you're having a hard time to moving forward with life or moving on from a certain relationship or a certain scenario it feels though that there is a lot of stagnancy that has occurred for you i don't know there could be an issue here of waiting in vain for nothing that i'm picking up it could be an issue of waiting for something but you don't even know what you are waiting on that kind of energy so i kind of feel that february could be a month for and you're really processing a lot of thoughts in your mind a lot of things are in your head of what is reality and what is just plain bullshit or fantasy you know it could be some reality check is happening inside of you and it could be a very psychological procedure as well so it is something that not everyone will be able to understand but you are feeling them in a very very strong manner so I kind of feel that it could be something that you are the only person who understands yourself at this time. It's like, you know, maybe you're thinking about of everything that you have experienced in your life. It could be, you know, something to do with your past. Like, it doesn't have to be with a specific relationship, but you're thinking about everything that you have experienced in the past. And maybe you're being too hard on yourself being too hard on on the possibilities of what life can give you maybe some of you are being pessimistic that i'm not gonna f gonna find someone again i'm just going to be single i'm just going to be alone love is so hard on me love is is hard in general you know it could be very s harsh and critical on yourself you know it's like you're downing yourself or putting a damper on things on your own energy so it could be a very pessimistic time for some of you or it could be just an emotional time that you are feeling lonely you are questioning when you are going to find the love of your life you know just thinking about the possibilities and the impossibilities of life as a whole there is a lot of thoughts a lot of emotions and a lot of explosive emotions that you are feeling at this time it's like you want to move mountains <laughs> that kind of energy and i just can you feel that for the most part 
there is an issue here as if you're not seeing reality for what it is or yeah just like i mentioned earlier just being too hard on yourself it it kind of feels like a hopeless kind of feeling we're in you feel hopeless hopeless in love hopeless in life uh you could be you know just feeling stuck to whatever situation you are going through at this time and maybe love is a big part of it but you know you could be also in concern of your whole life in general it doesn't have to be love or a relationship alone you know it just it started with love but you're bringing in your whole life to it so yeah i would say that it's, it is very psychological like maybe nothing is exactly happening in your life to a point where in that is the problem nothing is happening that is why a lot of things are creeping up in your head but th these energies and these things are just all in your head and it's all confusing you it does not mean that it is really what's going to be happening in your life we do have a lot of things here that are heavy and a lot of energies that brings in a lot of critical thoughts in you so you are sensitive and you are also thinking harshly about a lot of things so you might be giving a lot of ideas in your mind that may not necessarily be true so that that could be the case if you're single if you are in a relationship this could be manifesting wherein maybe you are getting bored with a relationship or you might be in a relationship but you feel as if you're single you feel nothing about this relationship it's like am i really in a relationship right now because i kind of feel single i kind of feel that nothing is ever going to happen or am i might you know you might be questioning the relationship itself maybe because there is no passion in the relationship uh, uh, this is a very icy situation so it's either you are in a relationship but you are having troubles with your partner nothing is happening there's no interaction and maybe you're not hearing from them or you are single if you are in a happy relationship of course this means that you are not connecting with this reading so skip this video that's basically it the people that i'm picking up right now are either you're single or you are in a relationship but you are having some form of trouble with that relationship there is something unsatisfying emotionally draining and basically you just feel stuck as a whole so february I would say that for a lot of Virgos, like you are sensitive, but I will not rely too much on your thoughts or the things that you might be thinking. The ideas in your head might be something not so reliable at this time because you are being too harsh on yourself and maybe you are just, you know, um, not seeing everything clearly this is really what the energy is like telling me like your judgment right now might be very much cloudy at this time so maybe maybe there is insight of on your on your realization in life but i kind of feel that it could be exaggerated to a point where in it's not the same thing anymore so i guess you need to be careful about that you need to be careful of being too harsh on yourself and love yourself more virgo that's basically what i get here yes you are patient very patient but i kind of feel that you know this could be like an energy we're in you need to be selfish for once you need to voice out what you really want 
And even if you're not receiving anything yet at this time, like, you know, do something like go out outside the balcony or something and shout to the world that, of what you want to accomplish, what you want to have, what you want to 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 attract in your life. Like, I want to be in a relationship with a man that is very responsible or anything you know you can you know shout to the world and demand that and don't criticize yourself too much is basically what I'm getting here this can be also telling us a time that it could be a time of miscommunication can occur misunderstandings clashes with people can happen all at this time because this the strong energy that I'm picking up over here is that you are too pessimistic you're you are seeing everything negatively so um, yeah this is not really the most positive reading it's like it's very dull and it's very pessimistic as a whole it's as if your energy is thinking that everything is so hard in your life and what i'm getting here is that it's not as if things are hard but you are being too hard on yourself is what i'm seeing it shows here that there is going to be some form of people that will be coming and going in your life on February and I'm not sure if you are noticing the people that goes in your life as well because you are fixated about the things that is not in front of you it's like you're not seeing the people that comes and enters your life because you're focusing elsewhere so you are not really able to value and appreciate the people that is with you is what i'm getting here so um yeah there is that form of energy there is definitely going to be some form of you know um small talks and communication but i kind of feel that maybe the message is not going through very clearly so right now what we are getting here is the tone of holding on to things maybe you have been holding on a lot of grudges a, lo a lot of emotions that you're holding on to you're not really expressing them and this could be the month wherein this energy might explode you, you might be you know I don't know some form of manifestation will occur wherein your energy is going to leak out and this might cause communication issues this might cause you becoming a lot emotional and my advice here is to it's to know that it's okay to tell people what you truly feel and what you truly think of them and think of whatever you guys are dealing with you know you don't have to always hesitate by fearing judgment from other people so it can be a time wherein it's troubling because it could be a time wherein you always need to to fix something maybe you need to correct something you need to fix something so because of that communication issues and speaking of communication issues we will have a um a mercury retrograde on the middle of february so i'm not going to be surprised if you guys are hit by this energy because pisces pisces is in mercury right now and it is the opposite sign of virgo which means that you know you are going to be expected by this very much strongly especially if you are a virgo rising 
because that will be in your seventh house. So seventh house is partnerships. So communication issues, um, doubts, confusion in terms of partnership, business partnership, friendship, all those kinds of things can be happening. But remember that this is all just in your head. It does not mean that that is the real scenario. And the only way for you to find out the truth is to initiate, get clarification by yourself. You know, try to find out the truth and don't just base things on gossip or on what you see online, those kinds of things, because that is just going to create more problems and more miscommunications. Yada, 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 those kinds of things. So, again, um, interference with people can occur, but the only way to resolve that is for you to take action yourself. So, don't rely too much on other people. You have to do things by yourself for yourself. That is really the idea here. We do have also the second house here, which is, you know, ownership possession your energy basically is what we're seeing here we have the jupiter in virgo type of energy in your second house so it's not really the most um smooth energy because it kind of feels that there's a lot of work to be done and just be mindful of that overthinking and just be mindful of how negative you can be not just with yourself but with other people as well it's time to lift up your energy virgo and you know don't make this month very draggy for yourself because i kind of feel that you're just too fearful with a lot of things even though that there's really nothing to be fearful about so um yeah um this could be a time of a new venture maybe you are about to change life directions as well so you might come across to make a decision of choosing between two things at the same time be mindful of um choosing both because you know that can be risky in its own way because you will not be able to handle that especially with the mercury retrograde so don't do double partners those kinds of things don't do any third party situations if you're into that kind of thing so communicate one communicate in a one by one basis basically talk to one people each at a time don't try to do things in simultaneous manner is what i'm getting here this is a very general reading because it does not really tell us too much about love it's really more about their interactions and partnerships connecting with people as a whole and the love factor in this reading has a really has a really more of a psychological tone into things so um yeah it could be a very emotional month for you and it is a month for and you need to overcome not other people but yourself alone because you know your worst enemy at this time is going to be yourself so yeah i'm pretty sure that you guys can do it though virgos are um tends to overcome a lot of things so i do hope that self-discipline is going to be in your mind but again don't be harsh on yourself that is probably the worst thing that you can ever do during this time because you are going to be emotional so um yeah also learn to trust people but at the same time if you feel that someone is cheating on you um have your guard up but don't assume that that is the complete truth without finding it out without finding out the facts the real facts of things 
So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys. Very good. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your situation. Do let me know if this occurs for you for February. I'd love to know what you guys think. Eventually, as the month ends. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And I'll see you guys again on my next video next month. Bye.